Hello everyone, ciao a tutti, bonjour mes coucou, once more you're all welcome back to my youtube channel and if this is your first time please do consider subscribing, hit on the notification bell to give you the alert each time I post any new video and please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up in the end also consider sharing my videos as well all right so guys today um i just want to share a little experience of some of the challenges that first time moms do face or moms in general and ways in which you can cope with these challenges or with these difficulties so guys um like i earlier said if this is your first time on my channel and you don't know what my channel is all about well, I always give a health talk concerning babies, um, sharing my experience as a, a new mom or as a first time mom, so as to help, educate, and also assist other parents or other new moms who are out there struggling and have no one to run to or they don't know what to do. Also, I do vlogs. Yes, I vlog a lot about South Korea. If you want to know anything about South Korea, yeah, culture, language, like basically everything about South Korea. So I also do um, DIYs. Yeah, I do DIYs as well. Do it yourself. I also, and I do a lot of educational videos. So if you know any mom or any sister, and or any person who is having a baby for their first time, please direct them to my channel all right so guys today um i just want to talk about some of the challenges um first time moms do face as i earlier said and uh, i think it's kind of a educational video yeah so i just want to share the problems we as first time moms face or maybe you've had a baby before and maybe after five six or seven years you have your second baby i'm sure you must have forgotten most of those things that are needed to to in order to cater for your baby so be it a first time mom be it an experienced mom be it an old mom i think my video might be helpful for everyone so today i just want to share some of those are challenges we face as moms moms in general not first time or old mom or experienced mom so one of the first thing i want to talk about is breastfeeding yes breastfeeding as we all know it is very challenging to first time moms it is very challenging like for myself i can say i really experienced it yeah because when i had a mj at the hospital i I faced some milk production problem. I think my breast didn't flow for like one or two days. Yeah, and when I told the doctor about it, he said it, it, it is quite normal because your 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 body your, or your system is still trying to adjust to those uh, changes um, within. So he advised that I should um, place some. Um, um, ice packs ice packs on my breast because they were already getting very swollen they were kind of engorged and i was kind of feverish as well so i was giving some ice packs at the hospital to apply uh, around my breast so as to keep them uh, keep the milk production a bit uh, the, to reduce the engorgement yeah to reduce the engorgement so that the, the breast could, could also flow so when you have this kind of problem, when you are facing this challenge, what do you do as a parent or as a new mom without help for, from where you are? So what do you do when you face this kind of challenge? The first thing I would say is, if possible, get help or seek help from a lactation consultant. Yes, because at, um, at my hospital, there was yes I, yes there was a lactation consultant but since i i i had a i was kind of in a private section of the hospital i uh, i think i couldn't really walk because of the pains so i wasn't able to to see the lactation consultant so 
all the time the nurses were the ones who gave it to me but if you are in that position please try to seek help from a lactation consultant they are going to help you they will see you through they will tell you what to do also at the time i had to buy a breast pump yeah i got the is it medela brand yes i got the medela brand um, breast pump and it really helped for the few days uh, that i was at the hospital so i had to to use it and extract the milk from my breast and i gave it to, to, to mg because she was staying at the nursery while i was recovering in private room elsewhere so i had to extract the, the breast milk using the breast pump and i had to give it to the nurses that were taking care of mj in the nursery so like i said the first thing you do is you get a lactation consultant or if you cannot get a lactation consultant when you are at home why not seek help from any experienced mom who is around you like you you have neighbors you have people around even if they are not talking to you but at that moment they will because who oh, korea they don't, they don't just open up to you like that except you kind of approach them some of them are very friendly but some of them are very so at that time maybe you can look for a a mom, an experienced mom who is your neighbor, try to explain your problem to her and I think they're going they're going to drill you on how to go about breastfeeding. Yeah, because from what the my daughter advised that normally the baby will feed every four hours. Yeah, every three to four hours. So during that time you you want to breastfeed your baby, why not call for your neighbor? try to let her try to explain to you how to place your breast or how to place the baby or what to do during that time so the first thing get a lactation consultant second you could get a breast pump thirdly you could look for um, an experienced mom or any mom around you or your neighbor who is a mom one good thing i like about korea is that the grandparents like we call them ajuma yes they are very nice they are so nice like they are, they are they are always willing and they are always ready to help anytime anything if you meet them on the road and you want to ask if it's about a baby oh my god they are so lovely when it comes to that that's one thing i really enjoyed like my my neighbor i didn't know that she had a grandchild as well so when i was pregnant that woman was never pretty like what kind of woman is this you see a pregnant lady you cannot even have sympathy or like nothing so it was kind of a hustle also between she and i and when i gave birth oh my goodness that lady was so nice like she would do my laundry she helps me with the laundry she helps me with like she will use her drying machine to dry the, the, the dresses for me she brings them back to my home like and she offered me a lot of gifts a lot of help all the time i needed help she was always there to help me Sorry for the background noise guys, I had to do this outdoor because the weather is quite good so I decided to have some fresh air myself, you know, all the time indoors is kind of a little bit boring so I had to come out. So the second or um, no, the third thing, is it third? The fourth. First I talk about lactation consultant, the second get help, third you could get a pump, a breast pump and fourthly if you cannot do all those things why not switch to formula if breastfeeding is not your thing then switch to formula because though i faced those challenges i didn't give up on breastfeeding my baby i think i had to use the breast pump for like a week a week or two after we went home and i had to try breastfeeding i had to to um to master mj's um, feeding time i had to master her feeding time and I had to stop using the pump. So after I've mastered her feeding time, I tried the three to four hours, and I I knew when she had to feed. So I stopped using the the breast pump after two weeks the, that we went home. So if breastfeeding is not your thing, please switch to formula. I didn't really give MJ formula until she turned six months. Yeah. 
so for from zero to six months she was on exclusive breastfeeding sorry guys mj is behind the camera and she wants to join me so that is the solution to the problem if you have any challenge when it comes to breastfeeding the second problem we want yeah, baby. the second problem that we want to that i want to talk about is there um, is something which is quite common like you you hate your spouse or you resent your spouse <coughs> Yeah, mama. Yes. Big uh, girl. Okay. So MJ decided to join me on this one. <laughs> so, like I was saying, <coughs> like I was saying, guys, not really hate, but it's like your your spouse is always on your neck. Like each time you want he does something wrong, you are just so angry. You become you become so grumpy. Like what is he doing? I don't want like the baby. You're there struggling with the baby, and he's there struggling with his own things guys it's not easy you know i think that was one problem i really faced with my husband as well because at the time i thought i was really trying to be uh, a good parent yeah i thought i was trying to be a good mom or a good parent and a good wife to us all so like each time he does something wrong i would like scold at him or shout and it was really bad yes it was bad but the the thing is if you are facing this kind of problem with your spouse like before before i think many moms will attest to this before the baby you were living so perfect with your husband like you guys literally really understood each other but when the baby comes oh my god like it's a whole struggle it's really a struggle i can say so so when you are facing this problem with your husband what do you do the first thing acknowledge the fact that your husband is also trying to play a role in your life and the life of the baby he is trying to help you and he is trying to help the baby so even though um what he does is not really in accordance with what you want just try to acknowledge the little he does yeah so by doing that you encourage him to learn more you encourage him to do more and you encourage him to play his own part in your life and the life of your baby so and the next thing is sit your heart your husband down talk to him if this is what you really want please talk to your husband do not hate your husband for no reason they say communication is key in every relationship and when the baby comes you both are trying to be a good parents to your little one so your husband does not know everything you want you as the mom you can always open up and talk to your husband tell him oh um sweetheart um darling would you, would you mind helping me with the laundry today um would you mind take care of the baby for like two or three hours while i get some sleep um would you mind doing the groceries today i don't have enough strength you know talk to your husband open up to him when you do that he's gonna be a better dad a better husband and a better father to you all you know i think everything comes with understanding it is best that you understand your husband and your husband understands you that way you guys are gonna live happily ever after so i think the best thing is to talk to your husband and maybe if talking is not going yeah mama you should talk to appa right and if um, talking is not going, you can as well share the house chores. Yes, I think I've done that so many times. I'll tell him this week you are the one cleaning the bath, or this week you are the one taking care of the laundry, or this week you are the one doing the grocery while I stay at home and watch over the baby. Like, share the chores, share the house chores. I think it's gonna do us all a lot good. It's gonna do a lot of good, you know share the trust let him know that he has to do this so that even if he comes back at, from work and he's tired he'll be like oh my wife said i should do this and if he doesn't do it try to leave it there for for, for some time you know just behave like you don't you don't care you will see he'll be forced to do it without anybody telling him so try to understand your husband and try to understand yourself try to understand the baby and you guys are going to be happy ever after all right guys so the third thing we want to talk about or the third uh, challenge or 
difficulty we want to talk about is um, you feel fat yes you feel like oh my god I put on a lot of weight I don't have that sexy body anymore like me you can see I look fat yes and so what hmm? and so what I look fat yes I accept I'm fat you know please don't judge me <laughs> you know <laughs> like some women they literally avoid the mirror because they say they don't want to look at their body they've lost um, shape they've gained a lot of weight please mothers do not blame yourself do not blame yourself if you feel fat or you've gained some weight with time the weight will, will be gone you know just be yourself accept yourself for who you are yeah don't body shame yourself because even your husband i'm sure your husband will, wouldn't mind you know your husband wouldn't mind yeah so please do not uh, feel like you're out of space yes some women literally say they don't want to go out they don't want to have fun because they cannot they cannot go to the beach they cannot enjoy themselves because they they they, they, they are they are they are abdomen is protruded mm -hmm. They don't have that before pregnancy shape so what so what you know for that, that that's one thing i have literally um accepted myself for yeah i know i'm going to work on it so if you feel fat or if you gain a lot of weight what do you do what do you do first things first walking exercising is going to do a lot of good to you a lot so these days I think ever since I, I gave birth like when MJ was still very small or uh, I think from zero to three months zero, no zero to five months yeah that was during um, autumn winter so then I usually take the taxi or the bus but now she's all gone up and she's even walking so I do a lot of work I walk a lot Walk a lot. I walk distance. Yes, I walk distance. Luckily, there's a river by by our apartment, not too far from my apartment. So I always take a walk along that uh, along the river, like almost every day of my life. I think that way it's gonna help me lose some weight. Also, try to exercise. My husband is a lover of exercise. Sometimes I join him. Sometimes. I just give it damn like no I don't want it today <laughs> like you know so <laughs> try to exercise and also you can control your diet if you are no longer breastfeeding your baby you can try to control your diet and I think you're gonna lose some weight for me I'm still on that journey because MJ is still breastfeeding though she is on solids she's on solid but she's still breastfeeding so I think I'm still on that journey but I'm exercising though I'm exercising, I'm walking, I try to go through my diet, like I don't eat a lot of chunks. Though sometimes the chunks are the best. <laughs> so that's what I basically try to do in order not to gain a, a lot of weight. So I try my best. I try my best. The next challenge that I want to talk about is work. You wanna be a mom, you wanna be a wife, you wanna be a career woman. How do you blend these three? How? How do you blend the three? How do you blend these three? So, it is not always easy to be a mother, to be a wife, and to be the career woman that you want to be. It is not easy. It's not an easy job. Like for me, um, I think I prefer. Well, I had the discussion with my husband ever since uh, we, uh, we were pregnant, and he said I should sacrifice one year. Mm. I should sacrifice one year stay home and take care of the baby and that's basically what I'm doing so that's why I say I am just a stay-at-home mom for now no job but I intend to continue my studies yeah continue my studies when MG starts going to daycare we call it Orinijib that's what we call it in, in Korean Orinijib so when MJ starts going to Orinijib I will like try to sort out myself as well so give yourself that time give yourself some time before you go back to work work will always be there work will always be there 
for your health comes first. Today, if you die, the next day, someone will place you at your job site. So, give yourself time, heal, get well, get your energy, get the strength, and you can go back to work. Also, you can ask for a flexible work schedule with your employer. If your employer accepts, you can work from home while you get a nanny to take care of the baby. Also, or you can as well put the baby in Urenichi, like I said, in daycare, and you can do your work. But do not force yourself to go back too soon to work. Remember, your baby needs you. Your husband needs you. You need yourself. You need your alone time. So first, get well, heal, then you can go back to work. And guys, there is it the, the last um, challenge I want to talk about or the last challenge we want to hear is that um, you want to be that perfect mom for your little one. Yes, you are a mom to your baby and to your husband because you call your husband baby, I'm sure. Honey, boo boo, you know, I call mine your boo. Your boo in Korean means um, sweetheart. Yes, or I, I simply call him babe. Yes, so you want to be that um, that perfect mom. Yes, you want to be that perfect mom. And this is really a great problem. It's really a problem because of the pressure from friends, from family, like Korean culture. Oh my God. The the wives, they go through a lot in the hands of their of their mother-in-laws they go through a lot like you hear most um, foreign foreign um, foreign women we call experts yeah you hear most experts always complaining my mother-in-law says i should do this my mother-in-law says i'm not feeding the baby well my mother-in-law says each time the baby cries it means the baby wants to eat it means the baby has to change her diaper like oh my god there's so much pressure around you know women giving women pressure like you you don't know how to 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 to, to be that mom to your baby like come on come on guys it's not that easy it's not that easy because you as a mom you are going through a lot the stress is there the anxiety is there the pressure is there and then another mom comes like telling you you are not that perfect mom to your child like how does it sound how how would how do you let that woman feel how you know so this is really a problem that most of us are first time moms or moms as a whole we go through we really want to be that perfect parent for for our children or that perfect mom for our little ones so um for that i can say please do not put your baby under that pressure do not put your baby under that pressure because if your baby is crying you're like oh my god this child is always crying this child is always shy this child like this child, you know guys so give yourself some time so, and yeah give yourself some time like it's just a baby the baby is still growing he or she doesn't know what he's doing so just give yourself some time you're going to understand your baby you're going to understand his schedule you're going to understand his needs so please do not pressure yourself as a new parent don't pressure yourself also um why you're thinking you want to be that perfect parent even if your baby is crying and you haven't had your lunch why not put the baby in the bouncer or you leave the baby with your husband for a while like Honey, please look after the baby while I have a quick shower or I have a quick lunch, you know, or you just take a walk around. No one is perfect. No one is perfect on earth, so you cannot kill yourself. I cannot kill myself. When I see that it is too much for me to handle, I'm like, oh my God. Um, babe, please take care of the baby. I need to bathe. I need to take a walk around. I need to take a shower, you know, because I think one of my friends, she she was um, we were talking the other day and she was like um adele i don't like my husband anymore i i don't like any of my family members i'm like what's going on she said she doesn't understand she doesn't know i'm like okay i know how you feel 
calm down Hello? it's gonna be all right calm down and the other time one of my friends she was fighting with her husband i'm like oh my god all of these things are normal it is very normal communication is the key communication is the key please moms do not fight with your husband i know some husbands are very strong headed yes they don't want to listen they're like that's your duty as a mom you need to take care of your baby you need to no talk to your man i think they will understand no matter how hard it is you know because in my case my i always talk to my mom yeah i always spoke to her like mom how do you do with your with your husband how do you do with the house chores how do you do with everything like because i cannot i cannot handle it anymore and she was like adele talk to him talk to him talk to him like and i talk 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 so in the end everything was good and we were fine so accept babies the way they are and talk with your husband so guys that was it um, the video I wanted to share with us all for today I hope this video inspires someone I hope it helps someone and I hope it encourages someone like I said earlier no one is perfect yes no one is perfect we are all learning it's a life it's a learning process so if I'm sharing my experience I want to encourage someone out there if I'm sharing my experience I want to help someone if I'm sharing my experience I'm not boasting about it I'm not perfect I just want us to help each other as moms and as parents so that we can have a, a happy home so this has been your girl Adele also known as Oma MJ like I said guys I'm so sorry for the background noise I said I wanted to do this uh, outdoor today because the weather is so good and everyone needs that fresh air. Oh my god, fall is here and the weather is so perfect. So I just want to have a little time outside. Please, before you go, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to give you the alert each time for my MJ post a new video. And do not forget to give my video a thumbs up in the end i remain your favorite first time mommy yes the queen of the north no queen of the south yes the queen of the south oma mj please subscribe to my channel and help me to share the video bye guys have a nice time namu kamsamida and means thank you so much thank you so much merci beaucoup ciao a tutti